Alright guys, welcome back, and in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to show you guys one last piece of that mysterious if statement, and it's called the else if, kind of a combination of the other ones, because we know that the basic if statement is good at testing one thing. Now we know that the if else statement is good between choosing between two decisions, but what if we have more than two decisions? And an example of this is, of course, uh, let's say you own a t-shirt shop, like I said last time, we're gonna have more sizes than just one or two. We're gonna have like small, medium, large, extra large. So unless we wanted to write just a bunch of if statements, eight, what, what did I say, statements? Statements, which can be kind of confusing, we need a better way of doing this. So let me go ahead and actually code a program right now to explain this to you guys. This is actually pretty useful. We'll say that um, we'll make a program to give the user the average of three test grades. So, of course, the grades that they have to choose from is A, B, C, D, and F, or E, some people have. But we'll say float um, grade one, and I'm gonna copy all of these, float grade two, and three. So, what the user is gonna do is we're gonna give them an area to enter three test grades type it in the screen and we'll store it in floats so printf just tell them what's going on enter your three test grades and yeah might as well give them a little prompt kick it to a new line scan f and we don't need to uh give them a prompt for everyone so for the scan f since it's a float of course we will use percent f and remember to add that space and this one, the first one they enter, we can just go ahead and store in grade one, grade two, and grade three. So now we basically have three numbers from them, and the only thing that we have to do now is get the average. So make a new variable called flow average, and of course we know how to do this. Set this equal to grade one plus grade two plus grade three. And once we have the sum of that, go ahead and throw over three and that is your average. So I guess the first thing we should do is just print out their average on the screen. And it says I'm too lazy to type five little characters. <laughs> I guarantee you, that copy and pasting takes longer than if I was to just freaking type it, but oh well, don't feel like moving my fingers fat little sausage fingers. All right, so percent point two F in, I don't know, we'll just go ahead and uh, display to two decimal places because why the heck not? And of course, what are we doing? We named it A, V, G. So right now we can actually run this program and it should run fine unless I mess something up. And here are three test grades and we'll just make sure it works by giving a nice easy average to work with. 70, 80, and 90 should be 80 average. All right, so this works right now. But now what we wanna do is we need to take that average and print out a grade for them. Something for the report card, A, B, C, D, or F. So we need to test five different criteria. So the first thing we can do, we know how to do this. Let's go ahead and work our way down from A to F. So we'll test if average is greater or equal to 90, then let's just go ahead and, um, did we kick it to a new line already? Yep. So print F, we'll just print, uh, I don't know, something simple like grade is A. Make sure you got your semicolon. Now, this is the part we run into where we would have some trouble before because if we just wrote else, um, I mean, we can, okay, that's kind of confusing because we have like a bunch of letters to choose from. So this is where the tutorial comes in handy because we can now use a new keyword called else if. Now what this is, is basically another um, option that it can choose from. So it's first gonna test, okay, is your average greater or equal to 90? If so, just run this code and boom, your program's good to go. But what if it isn't? Well, let's go ahead and go to another option, which is this one. And of course, we need to give this one a test because it's not just a default. So the test is, of course, 
we'll just say, okay, well, is it greater than 80 then? And if so, then we'll go ahead and print out B. And saying, okay, well, what if it's not even greater than 80? Well, this can must be dumb. So let's go ahead and put it else if, if greater or equal to 70, do C. And I might as well type it so you guys can get it stuck in your brain. Else if it's not even greater than 70, then test if their average is greater than 60. I don't even know if this is the grading system now. But in this case, print out D. Now here's the point where I want to take a break and mention what's going on. So basically, what's going to happen is our program is going to test first if their grade is above 90. If it is, then it's going to go ahead and skip the rest of the statement because it only can choose one of these options. If it's like greater than 70, it's not going to print out um, C, B, and A. It only runs one of these things. Once it finds the criteria or a test that passes, it only runs the one in that block, not everything else. It, no need to test anything else. So what we did is we said 90, 80, 70, 60, okay. If none of those are true, then we can go ahead and just add that default statement because if none of those are true, then they must have gotten an F. Their grade must be less than 60. Nothing else is possible in, in the world of math. So print F and of course, instead of just writing grade F, we'll just go ahead and write something like you are dumb because any kid who got less than 60 on any test, uh, get, this is probably why I'm not a teacher in school, but it's a pretty funny program. So if we run this right now, la la la, everything looks good. It says enter your three test grades. And let me just go ahead and put like a 73 right now. And I'll make sure that I have like a, uh, see what that is. So my average is 76.67. So what happened is it says, okay, that's your average. We stored it in this variable right here. So first I tested if it was greater than 90, it wasn't. So I hopped down here. I tested if it was greater than 80, it wasn't. Tested if it was greater than 70, it was. So I printed this out and I just skipped everything else. So no need to test this or this because we already found our answer. And if there was any code like down here, then this is where it would pick back up and start running again. So very simple and also what we can do just for fun is run this program and for some reason I just wanted to print out what if a kid got a 21 then he studied and he got a 56 and then he got a 4 hit enter his average 27 and it says you are dumb because he was dumb simple enough so that is how you make a very simple program and that is also how you make one decision decide between two things or decide between unlimited options so now that we got that taken care of, I'm going to show you guys some other sweet stuff. You guys are like becoming a pro in C programming. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.